What's up, pipesters? Man's playing Harlow here. Gonna do a quick VR to Pipe and Chat's 200 sub contest. Uh, he wants us to smoke something, so to speak, out of our comfort zone. Uh, I used to just smoke mainly all English and Virginias. Then uh, got back into aromatics, so I smoke everything. I'll smoke anything right now. Uh, I have not ever had any cheap tobacco, so to speak. I've never bought any over-the-counter drugstore tobacco, so I got some. Uh, I've actually went to go buy some today and kind of struck out, but I did have some tobacco somebody gave me a while back. I've never tried it. It was uh, I just, I just never tried it, and now instead of it just being you know a bad tobacco, it's not just it's not just a, that it's not fresh it's it's pretty dry it was dry i moistened it up some for this video but borkum riffs cherry cavendish cavendish cherry excuse me we're gonna give it a try let's light this thing up smoke it in my little little corn cob i don't want to put it in any of my good pipes <laughs> and taste bad cherry for a while <laughs> Hmm. This is supposed to be a review. I forgot. Anybody that smoked that? Is this supposed to taste like cherry? Because. I'm going to get more of a. Rotten cranberry. <laughs> I've heard cherries are almost impossible to perfect. Well, not impossible because I got some. Let's see here. That's a good cherry. About the only really good cherry I've found. There's some uh, triple one down there at uh, Herrick Schwab. It's pretty good. But yeah, this is uh, definitely something I would not spend money on. Um, it's burning good. I give them that. But uh, let's read what the bag says. The pouch says. Cavendish Cherry by Borkum Riff. Selected premium quality, Kentucky and Burley. Kentucky and Burley. What's Kentucky? Quality Kentucky. All right, I will say right here, right now, that I am from Kentucky. I've lived in Kentucky my whole life. I have spent years cutting tobacco, and I've never cut Kentucky tobacco. Maybe somebody enlighten me. Maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. What's Kentucky tobacco? Most of the time, we just raise barley down here. I mean, there's something else. I don't know. I ain't no tobacco expert. I just like to smoke it. Good quality Kentucky and barley for a smooth, rich taste. 
I wonder how much this stuff costs. How much is this stuff? Like I said, I did not purchase this. This was a gift. One and a half ounce. Here we go. I'll stick it in my pipe and smoke it. I don't care. And now, you heard what I just said on the front. Selected premium quality Kentucky and Burley for a smooth, rich taste. And on the inside, it says selected quality. Rich, richly aromatic, dark Kentucky, Burley, and bright Virginia tobaccos are specially blended, then cased in wooden casks and fermented to give a warm and round smoke and a distinguished taste, enhanced with a hint of sweet cherries and fragrant vanilla. Fragrant vanilla. All right, this is what confuses me all to death. If y'all can see this or not, here at the bottom. It's hard to read because of the lighting, sorry. Made in Denmark. Made in Denmark, okay. I'm going to guess Denmark. Where did I see that? Crap, I lost it. Oh yeah, I can't see it, but it says Borkham Riff Imports. P.O. Box 986, Owensboro, Kentucky. So, they grow to the back in Kentucky, sent it to Denmark to get it made, send it back to Owensboro, to Borkham Riff. Imports headquarters, package it, and that makes a lot of sense. Sorry, I'm sorry, guys. That just that don't make no sense, bro. Anyway, it's supposed to be a review. It's crap. It doesn't even taste like cherries, really. The vanilla is probably what I'm tasting. Uh, I mean, they don't even like. I don't know. I just. I'm not even, I, I just, I, I can't even, I'm speechless. Uh, my buddy gave me this, said he tried pipe smoking, said he put the pipe down, I can see why, if this is what he was smoking. I mean, him going to have a talk tomorrow. I'm going to take him some tobacco and say, here, smoke this. Yeah, this is, yeah, this is definitely not a... No, I, mean, I can understand if you're on a budget, which I don't know how much the stuff costs. It may be just as much as anything else. I don't know. But there's no way I can smoke it. I'm going to smoke this ball and I'm going to throw the rest away probably. Yeah, probably not. Can't do that. Hey, you get a... I think it says lightly cased. I think it's heavily cased, and that heavily cased is casing the inside of my mouth. Uh, yeah. My review 1.3 stars. If you want cherry, throw this away and get this stuff. Definitely do not waste your money on that. No offense to anybody that likes it. If you like it, that's great. Just not my cup of sweet tea. Um. It's actually burning kind of cool, though. I will give it that. It, it burns good, surprisingly. I didn't pack it very well, but... It's just... I don't know. It's, it's different. I think I tried too hard to infuse the cherries. 
maybe a a different blend from Borkham Rift is better. I, I don't know, but definitely, they definitely don't be making a cherry. Keep in mind, this is my first time ever smoking a cheap tobacco. Cheap tobacco, I say, is not, you know, it's over the counter. Joke store tobacco, there you go. But, yeah. Not for me. Uh, pipe and chat, congratulations on your 200 subs. Good job. I've been, been enjoying your videos. Uh,. Yeah. Congrats. Curious as this pipe you're making. I had a block of briar, I'd send it to you, definitely. But I do not. Fresh out. <laughs> I'm seeing you a stump or something, you know, a stump of hickory or <laughs> walnut. <laughs> Oak. But, uh, yep, that's my review. Borkham Ref. Cavendish Cherry. Junk. But, uh, yep. I tried it. Can't say I didn't try it. Hey, I'll stick anything in my pipe and smoke it at least once, so. Y'all, uh, y'all take care. Uh, keep them smoking. See?